Hey everybody, today I want to talk about an album by Paul Kantner of Jefferson Airplane. This is a solo album that he released and it's a very, very weird but amazing sounding album. This is called Blows Against the Empire. Now this is really considered a classic record from the 1970s and to be perfectly honest with you, it's not really my cup of tea musically, but it is my cup of tea as far as the sound quality. This has amazing sound and there's a reason for that because this is recorded in the same studio at the exact same time with a lot of the same musicians that the David Crosby album I just made the last video about, David Crosby's solo album, if I can only remember my name, this is recorded in the same studio with the same people um, and that's why the audio quality is almost identical to that David Crosby album. Um, this album is a concept album. It's kind of like a, it's a, not kind of, it's definitely like a sci-fi um, counterculture kind of revolution against the government kind of a, a concept album. Um, and like I said, that's not really my cup of tea, um, but the audio quality on here is so excellent that I actually really enjoyed listening to this, especially this pressing, which by the way, this pressing is currently on the website needlemeetsvinyl.com. You can pick this very one up. This is a near mint, beautiful, beautiful condition. This is an early, early US pressing of this album, and I will show you just what this looks like. It's on the orange RCA Victor record label. There's the first side. There's the second side. And the cool thing about this album, besides the amazing audio quality, is that this is a complete um, package here. So this album, when it originally came out, it's, by the way, it's a gatefold. And the gatefold is very cool. It has like a foil... Um, a foil, you know, inner sleeve gatefold thing here where it's very shiny with like the foil artwork. But it also has, the back cover below is also kind of cool. It's got kind of a Salvador Dali type, type vibe going on there. But this comes with all the original goodies inside. So you get the original inner sleeve, which features some sketches that were done by Grace Slick, who is in the Jefferson Airplane and who was actually at the time, married to Paul Kettner. So these are some cool sketches there. But it also comes with the original booklet that came with the album, which also has more sketches by Grace Slick, and it has all the lyrics to the album inside of here. And this is in such nice, nice condition. And you open it up. Let me try to do this without completely wrecking it. Very, very cool, cool stuff inside of there. So it's cool to have this um, a all complete and uh, all in one, one place. And the audio quality, like I said, is just beautiful on this recording. And it's one of those recordings, or one of those pressings rather, that it's so good that you can almost see through the music. There's so much space uh, around the instruments and it's really why all of us love records so much because this has the analog magic that we all just long to hear, right? Because if you ever heard uh, this album on CD, it's not the same experience as listening to it on vinyl because on CD, as good as that, that can actually sound, it just doesn't compare to the vinyl soundscape where everything is just it just sounds like it's in 3D. There's so much depth. You can you can really hear uh, the drum kit, the acoustic guitars, um, the vocals. Everything is just so beautiful. It sounds really just amazing on this album. The other cool thing about this album is it has a lot of guest stars. So first off, you get Jerry Garcia, who plays some uh, uh, lap steel on here and some guitar parts. Uh, and Jerry Garcia, obviously from The Grateful Dead. Uh, so he's on here. Um, in addition, uh, you get Mickey Hart, who's also in The Grateful Dead. Uh, you get David Crosby and Graham Nash, who are both make appearances on this album. Um, so it's just really an all-star lineup. In addition to them, you get Grace Slick, who, of course, was married to uh, Paul Kettner at this time. And it's just a very, very interesting album. And if you're into... Um, 
concept albums and kind of like psychedelic uh, type type tunes, then you will love this record. It's very very experimental. But if you if you don't really care for all that type that genre of music, but you do love amazing amazing audio, then you will really really treasure this pressing of this album. And like I said. I will, I'm the first to admit, this is not my cup of tea when it comes to the musical style, but I do love it because of the audio quality. And actually, I have a lot of records like that in my collection. Um, records that I, I picked up because I've either read about them and heard that they were recorded in a unique way or they just have excellent audio. I'll pick them up and I can appreciate them for the audio quality that, that they possess. In fact, I have a... Um, a demonstration record by this company called uh, I think it's Sheffield and it's just a drummer uh, the drummer happens to be Jim Keltner by the way who's amazing and it's just Jim Keltner playing his drum kit um, on this recording but it was recorded so high quality and sounds so great that while I don't really want to listen to a drum just drums playing solo for half an hour it's fun to listen to for the audio quality because it's so just amazing and if you are like me and you are just fascinated with audio and that kind of stuff is attractive. And this album, for me at least, is very much in that same kind of uh, vein, where I just love the audio, I love how it was recorded, and everything just sounds so spectacular. And that is the case with this pressing of the album. Now, there are some, by the way, out there who just love this album for the music as well. In fact, I read a lot of things online about people who say, that this is like their desert island disc. If they were only allowed to have one album uh, that they could have for the rest of their lives, a lot of people would choose this album. So that's high praise, obviously. For me, of course, I would choose something like The Beatles' Revolver or maybe Pet Sounds by The Beach Boys or something like that. Anyway, if you are interested in this album and this very pressing, go to my website, needlemeetsvinyl.com, and you can pick this one up and it's almost like a companion piece to David Crosby's solo album, uh, if I can only remember my name. So if you like that album, you will probably like this album as well. So head on over, needlebeatsvinyl.com. And uh, by the way, stay tuned. Later this week, I will be having some more Beatles records hitting the website. So stay tuned and uh, bye for now.